What's up, guys? It's Brad with Spud Fitness. And I am enjoying the deliciousness of red vines. And I just realized I opened the package wrong. Oops. Good thing it won't last long. Got a care package from, from home. That's always a nice thing. Um, Mom and Dad sent me some um, some leakies and chewies. So that's always a surprise. It's not something I usually get myself. I wouldn't buy myself red vines. But I really like red vines. And then also sent me uh, some of these candles to set in the sun and warm naturally. But uh, I like the way those things smell. And um, yeah, it's awesome. So anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going to get ready to do some, uh, some lifting yesterday. Man, I was really out of it by the end of the day i laid down for a bit and was wrecked didn't didn't get out of uh, bed till like after six and still had to eat my stomach was weird so anyway long story short i didn't make it to the gym um you know and i know that i talk about um you know training to spite and uh you know sometimes it applies to maybe not feeling like going but there are times where maybe it's a good idea to not go so I do want to highlight that it's always important to kind of make those, um, you know, make those decisions. And sometimes it's an audible, you know, kind of a mid stroke. You decide that ah, today is not a good day to go for a ver variety of reasons, whatever those things might be. The idea of training despite um, is, it stems more directly to, you know, overcoming issues. Right. So, um, again, it was born out of me, me tearing my bicep. But um, but at any rate, today we're going to compensate for missing yesterday. I'm going to try to move to more of a conjugate style for a little while. So that means I'm going to be working some speed work into my normal stuff. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to get some speed work in on my bench. And then I'm going to get some deadlifting in today too. Um, so that's the plan. We're going to finish the pre and we're going to get over there. Right now for my pre, I'm, um, I'm working with uh, BSN Endo Rush. Um, yeah, not very intense, I'll say that. So I have Endo Rush, and then in the queue, I got some doc, Dr. Jekyll. Never tried this, so I'm going to give it a try. I don't tend to stick with any pre for too long. I tend to rotate and try different things, because also, no matter how good the pre is, eventually you end up getting used to it. So I like to go on a rotational basis for different shit. And uh, yeah, luckily there's enough that I can do that. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to finish, uh, finish the pre, get myself packed up and ready to rock. And then we're going to maneuver over to the gym, get a run in, and then, uh, we'll get to lifting. So here we go. All right. You know the deal. I'm getting in, uh, do a little bit of running, do a mile, 10 minute, uh, 10 minute pace on the treadmill. Here we go. See you on the other side. Wish me luck.
Right. Well done. Bright out. It's like almost six. Weather's starting to get warm. That's pretty nice. I like that. And uh, here's my man, Tony. He's the littlest grown man I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure his parents don't know, don't know where he is. If you've seen this man's parents, please let him know where he is. <laughs> He's lost in Korea. <laughs> nah, that's my boy. He's a good dude. I love him a lot. We were uh, stationed together before. Last duty station. And stuck together again. It's always nice to have familiar faces around. At any rate, wrapping up the workout. Um, today was a bit of a different kind of a deal. Because I, in some senses, was trying to make up for the fact that I missed my bench workout yesterday. And, you know, if you're, if you're running kind of a packed out schedule where you're doing, you know, five days a week, you don't really have the room to miss a training day because it really just backs everything up. I mean, I suppose I should, I, I could have just treated uh, today like the bench day and just offset everything. But I was feeling energetic, so I got it all in. So that's good. Um, did my speed bench 135 with the um, bands on there. Uh, moving bar speed at about a meter per second. And in some cases it was a little bit lower. So in some of the final sets there, I think the, the slower reps were like 0.9, which is still, I think, within tolerance. It's, that's not too bad. Um, but uh, got that done and then did the deadlifts. So I'm excited about the deadlifts. You know, got up over 700 pounds. I think if for anything else, it's just a good confidence booster be back over seven so yeah pretty good anyway that's it uh gonna get some dinner chill out for the rest of the night if you guys got any questions comments or concerns leave in the chat box below i'll be sure to respond i appreciate you guys checking out the videos help me out well, if you're not uh if you're not subscribed to the channel for the love of sake for, for the sake of christ or for something fuck just subscribe already <laughs> appreciate the subs i really do Remember guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like regain some past glory, chase an 800 town again, get in, train despite, you're either gonna find an excuse or you're gonna find a way. And I hope that you continue to find the way. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.